Bill Cartunis, and welcome to Mr. Forrest Easel. Today I'm going to be matching certain activities with some cartoon animal critters. Now here's the list of activities or professions or whatever. Musician, professor, the boss, weightlifter, chef, and loafer, that doesn't sound too active. But anyway, there's the list, and I have the names of animals on some cards, which I'll be using. So let's look at the cards and see which critter is going to be featured as a musician. I'll just pick out a card here and look on the other side. Uh, a rooster as a musician. Well, what kind of musician shall we make of this rooster? I'm going to do kind of a profile of an upright piano and uh, see if I can show Mr. Rooster displaying his musical talent. Remember now when you're talking about any kind of fowl, or whether it's barnyard or wilderness or whatever, the wings become hands, arms and hands, and the feathers at the end, of course, show that you can't play the piano without, <laughs> with any dexterity without uh, fingers. So here's the rooster. Uh, pounding out a melody and maybe singing along <laughs> in this case. So there we have it, a, a musical rooster. Okay, next card is to be matched up with a Professor. Okay, Professor who? Professor... Ah, here we are. Professor Fox. Professor Fox. Now, when talking about a professor lecturing to his class, uh, the favorite prop is what you might call a what is called a lectern. It's just kind of a stand where the professor places his notes and stands behind it and keeps everybody totally enthralled or attentive for no telling how long. Well, Professor Fox, stereotype of a professor is, well, it's hard to describe, but take a look at this uh, lecturing fox. We'll give him some glasses because he's been doing a lot of heavy research in the library. Make his mouth partly open, but give him a, a out of style tie. Put a little show, little elbow patch there on his jacket. And there's some pages that he's referring to as he holds forth. Got to give him a fox a tail, of course. So there, folks, is Professor Fox at the University of the Woods. Professor Fox. Okay, uh, the next item on the list is what I've called the boss. I'll sift through here and <laughs> imagine that a bossy duck. All right, a duck 
Most of my ducks look so happy and compatible with their fellow critters, but a bossy duck, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna make boss duck with an angry expression. In a minute, you may be able to uh, figure out why he's angry. He's holding up something, it was some kind of report that one of his employees has done. And it didn't get a very favorable response from Boss Duck, so he's angry. And I'm not going to draw the um, very much more, but uh, he's pointing to the employee that turned this in this report, and he's saying, "You're fired." So, <laughs> well. It must have been a real stinker. We'll take a break and then we'll come back and look, go down our list of uh, occupations and so on. Home security is now available through Conway Corp. It's an advanced solution backed by people you know and trust. Customize your system with motion detectors, sensors, light controls, and more. All managed from your wireless touchscreen or mobile phone. It's an easy way to protect the things that matter and the ones who matter most. It's safety for you. Powered by Conway Corp. Welcome back. So we've covered three critters, and the next one on my list of uh, activities or whatever is weightlifter. Let's see who's going to be a uh, weightlifter. Oh, a pig. See, the pig is going to be the weightlifter. All right. I'm going to start with the weights, barbells or... Put the pig's little porky hands on the barbell. And it's kind of a little unsteady, and maybe you can see why here in a minute. You know, when you're trying to move something heavy, uh, you have to sort of grit your teeth and your teeth are showing. Anyway, it's kind of an, a real effort for our piggy friend here. And he's perspiring and and guess what? His, his feet aren't all that stable. He's not, <laughs> in fact, he looks like he's about to fall over. Let's put a little color on our pig friend here to make him show up a little better. And I'm going to start with a pretty red face there and then show the, his pink upper body. Oh, I guess I should show his whole body is just kind of about ready to collapse under the effort. I'm gonna give him some green trunks here. So there's our how make his shoes match his trunk. Here's a pig trying to build up his strength, but seems like it's quite an ordeal for him. 
Well, we have two cards left, and uh, I'll just reach in and grab one. Oh, we've got a rabbit. And a rabbit, a rabbit is going to be a chef. <laughs> Maybe cooking up some carrot soup or something. A chef. Well, let's start with his ears. I'm going to make his ears one up and one kind of down. I'm going to put a big old white hat on his head. And so he's he's in the kitchen and he's working on something. Looks a little like Bugs Bunny, but he's, he's really just one of Bugs Bunny's relatives. He's holding up a, I'll tell you what it is, it's a recipe. And he's busy with his other hand stirring up something. These motions right here show that his arm is going round and round as he stirs up whatever concoction that is. I better put a, an apron on him so he'll be properly dressed for a work in the kitchen. Well, not a whole lot of coloring to go on here, but I'll put a little bit so you won't think it's Bugs while well, I'll call him brown. You remember Bugs was is usually shown as gray in color. This is a brown rabbit. He's hard at work. <clears throat> Sometimes in cartoons why rabbits are shown with kind of a pink pink jaws and around the mouth and so on. Uh, that's a white cap. Sometimes they're, they don't have that curved part at the top they used to anyway. So we've got one more critter and he's going to be, he's not going to be playing or singing or lecturing or bossing or lifting weights or cooking. He's just going to be loafing. And how appropriate it turns out to be a dog. <laughs> Excuse me, not that all dogs are loafers, but I've seen plenty of them in that, uh, uh, not activity, but inactivity. Well, instead of showing a dog all sprawled out like they are in real life, I, I like to give a kind of a, well, almost human-like posture in his uh, loafing. You'll see what I mean here in a minute. He's got his, <laughs> his arms behind his head and he's leaning up against the wall here, taking it easy. In fact, he was just loafing, uh, but now he's falling asleep, as you can see. Well, my dog, loafing dog, is going to get a sort of a orangest color. Orangey color.
Well, that about wraps it up. We've got a, a number of activities and one non-activity. So we'll wind it up there. And remember, you can contact Mr. Coyzeehill at conwaycorp.com.